What's up, guys? This is Zero Universe, and this is going to be part one of the end, you could say. Well, the end of the Chaos League. Uh, at least the end of my reaction series to Pokemon. At least I just dissed the reaction league. Uh, uh, I already know that Team Fla that uh, the supposed Team Flare arc is after the Chaos League, but I'm just going to watch that on my own time. I'm not going to do a reaction series of the entirety of the rest of the series. Unless it's something y'all actually kind of want. I'm not expecting too much, like, like, uh, like, People flocking to these uh, these reactions. I, I just I'm just doing this as a documentation of what is uh, pos more more than likely one of the best leagues Ash has ever been in. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started straight into it because this is the this is the beginning of the end. I just want to get this over with. I want to see if he wins or loses because I've been avoiding the internet a little bit too much and I want to check some things. But I know if I go, I might get spoiled. So let me just finally just end this for myself. Let's go. Three, two, one. Now head off in the link in the description below to get into the Google Drive to check it out. Go. They're really making me hate everything that I've been doing so far. I mean, like, I'm so conflicted. All right, right now we have Ash, who still has his Gudra, who still has Gudra, his Ash Greninja, Greninja turning into Ash Greninja, and Pikachu that's currently like at five percent health at this point, and Alon with his Bisharp and Charizard. Now, okay. Best case scenario, Let's, uh, 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 Charizard beats Pikachu because Pikachu cannot just stay up after just being annihilated by that Metagross, but still taking the Metagross down. But unlike the time where he did the exact same tact against the Latios, he managed to still be up to do the final blow, and he's still standing. And he's now about to face off against the Charizard. Now, I'm pretty sure Charizard's going to beat Pikachu. Then, uh, Ash... Ash is going to throw out uh, Gudra, and I think, I think, uh, and I think Gudra, no, no, and Alon's going to take out Charizard, because again, this is anime. They have to make Charizard and Greninja fight each other, despite the fact that one has a clear type, of disadvantage, type advantage and a disadvantage. But, then again, uh, Ash Greninja did take out a Grass Dragon type, so I, I think a Fire Dragon type won't be too much of a problem. And at least it shouldn't be. At least it shouldn't be because best case scenario, best case scenario where Ash wins, he takes out he takes out uh, Charizard after beating Pikachu. Ash throws out Gudra. Gudra beats Bisharp. Uh, uh, Charizard beats Gudra after going Mega. Uh, after, since he's been in this Mega and has been fighting both Pikachu because he took that hit and Gudra. Uh, and taking out Gudra, Gudra shouldn't be easy to beat. At least I I hope he's not. Uh, and taken out. And thus fighting Greninja and taking Ash Greninja. We've got Ash Greninja fighting against uh, Lizard, uh, Lizardon. I'm just going to call him Lizardon because that's in, in Charizard. And it comes out in the final uh, collage. And with all the damage that uh, Charizard's already been taken, because we already know this Charizard has been taking on some pretty big foes and stuff like that. Uh, but after taking all his damage and all his accumulation of damage, Ash Greninja, already showing that he's extremely powerful, will do a, 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 an attack that will get to him and then Ash can win. Worst case scenario, because I have to bring this up. Worst case scenario, uh, Charizard still beats Pikachu. The Bisharp beats Gudra, because this Bisharp has Guillotine. Guillotine is a one-hit KO move. Doesn't matter how strong the Pokemon is, it's a one-hit KO move. So Bisharp beats Gudra. Ash throws out Greninja. Greninja beats Bisharp after taking some damage from Bisharp or taking like you know some moments from Bisharp. Uh, Charizard still, and Charizard still not very damaged, goes Mega Charizard, Ash Greninja goes Ash Greninja, they clash, they didn't, uh, Ash Greninja's not it, taking too much damage, and also Ash is taking too much damage since they both share one body and whatnot, and Greninja takes too much damage and is fainted. Worst case scenario, he, and then Ash loses. What I say to both scenarios, good job. That's pretty much it. If he wins... I'm extremely happy, and I'm probably, again, going to throw myself off a cliff or out the window or wherever I said in the last episode. If he loses, I saw it coming, because that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Charizard beats Pikachu. Pikachu cannot last another another fight. That's that's pretty much it. Pikachu cannot last another fight. Charizard beats Pikachu. Bisharp beats uh, Gudra. And Ash, uh, Greninja beats Bisharp, uh, but loses to Charizard. That's how this can go. If this if this is different, and that'll be surprising. But I'm 
That's that's my worst case scenario. Hoping best case scenario, because again, Gudra, I don't want to go, if he if he gets hit by the guillotine, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, and that's and again the whole the thing is again with this rival Alan, he's likable. That's what I hate. If he was just a random nobody, he actually would have more of a chance. But no, he's a dude with an actual goal, a dream, a thing that he wants to do. So he has main character logic on him too. And the fact that he is sort of like his own main character due to the evolution special, so yeah. Oh my god, my mind is like exploding right now for how like uh you, all this all this gush that you're seeing right now, just imagine this throughout the entire X and Y series, especially when he was fighting champion with the with the Guard of Wire dude. Like, it's amazing. So final episode is coming out. Shari be out. So there you go. And this is the U1B Universe. I'll see you guys next time.